Hi, um, I'm just going to talk for a few minutes just briefly about COCO. Um, so this is a new tool that we've developed in the Learning Technologists team and it helps you create content online. And then you click Get Started and you have a screen like this. Okay, and you need to give your page a name in here. It gives you something as a default title, but you can change that if it's page four, I don't know, uh, essential reading or something. And you'll notice it, if you put any spaces in and then click out of the box, it will, it will add an underscore just so that it can use this as a file name online. So then you can click continue. <clears throat> How many elements do you want? So a page is made up of elements. I'm going to just go with five. Uh, but essentially each element could be sort of a paragraph of text, it could be a video, it could be a, a quiz, all those sorts of things. And you build your page uh, based on the number of elements each time. And incidentally you can change this if you change your mind and you want seven or four. You know, you can always update that as you go along. So the first element, I'm going to build a few in here. And I'm actually going to demonstrate this using um, some content from a Google Doc. So I've got a Google Doc open up here, real sort of module content. Um, I've got some videos and stuff in there, so let's start with the video in fact. So what I'll do is I'll launch this video. Um, I'm just going to pause it straight away. Uh, to actually share a video, you need to go to the share option in YouTube and copy this link. Okay, back to Coco. I'm going to click the video box here. And it'll take a video from YouTube or Echo360 but basically I'm going to overwrite here this box with what I've just copied and here I can put some instructions in such as watch this video um, whilst you're watching think about X, Y and Z. I'm actually going to put a, space, uh, a line return in between those two as well and it'll actually interpret that uh, and it'll put a closed paragraph and open paragraph tag here. So it knows how to format boxes in here as well. I'm going to click Add, and then you'll notice this is a little preview of the video. So you get the text I've added, um, the actual embedded video, and a, li a link to, to watch it in YouTube as well. If you don't like that, or you want to change it, you can come back here. I forgot a full stop. You can add, make edits, and re-add. Um, and it, you know, there's the dot there on the end. And when you're happy with it, you click OK. And it gives you a preview here, and you can also switch that to HTML. So if you know how to do HTML, you can make changes to typos and whatever. Um, and when you're happy with that, you can basically move on and go to your other elements. So that video is in the bag. Um, and I might want to add some paragraphs now, so let's just grab some paragraphs from here. There's one paragraph. I'm going to copy it from the Google Doc, and I'm going to paste it into here. And I might want to add four paragraphs in one go, actually. In which case, um, I can go back and grab another one. Let's say, take that one as well, uh, and so on. I'm going to just put some nonsense in the last two. Click add, add it. Uh, you get a little preview again. One, two, three, four paragraphs. And you can edit this again, as I say. But you'll notice if you go to the HTML view, it's put the little paragraph tags to open and close each paragraph. So that's nice. I'm going to just quickly finish this off. I'm going to have an MCQ box, a multiple choice question. So if you're adding more than one multiple choice question, you need to say which one it is. However, this is the first one I'm adding, so I'll leave that on one. Um, what colour is Kermit the Frog? Drog? No, frog. And then you can say how many answers. I'm going to have four in this case. So I'll drop that down to four, and it will provide me with four answer slots. So the first one's red. Second is green. That is obviously the correct answer, so I'm going to tick the correct box. Um, what other colours? He could be blue, or he could be pink. And then you can give feedback, which will appear for the students, depending on which they click. So, for example, I can just say incorrect if they choose red, or I could add more. I could say red is, is not the correct colour because, dot, dot, for example, and I can say similarly if they get green, yes. He's always been green since, I don't know, the 70s, or that's when, how long has it been going, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to finish this off with some incorrect here. Uh, incorrect. You don't need to put this, because the students will, the box will turn red or green, depending on whether it's correct or incorrect, but it, it's helpful. 
Um, and now you can, this is um, like a preview, but you can see at the bottom the answers are appearing, depending on which ones I select. I'm going to click OK. And for element 4, let's just put a tutor saves box in so I can select a tutor from Shah here. And let's put Katie Powell in, should retrieve her image there. You can add people who aren't in SHA or you know external links to images there. Uh, Katie say oops, actually I'm going to put finish your assignment by the end of the week. That's what Katie is saying. I'm going to add that. Okay, and you get a preview. So then we've got each of the four elements and you'll notice as we went through it sort of added a title to each element so we've got a rough reminder of which what what each thing was it was a video some paragraphs at mcq and she says and then you can do this preview page it opens the content you've been creating shows it in the, the correct sort of flow in a new tab and you can see well that looks lovely it's ready to add to mole or something like that and you'll notice it adds a print this page button for students to use too so I'm happy with that. Close the tab down. All I need to do is cl click Create Page. It gives you this text. If you want to copy and paste it somewhere, you can. You could do that with Mole. However, most of the time, we're actually going to be saving it as an HTML file um, and then adding it to Mole. I'm going to just add it to my desktop. So it's called Essential Reading. It's taken this file name and given the file that particular title. And then you just basically upload it to Mole.